I hope you're good today. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I sure am. I'm pretty excited. I've got another unboxing. Well, jewelry. It's jewelry today. I bought some jewelry at the Curiosity Inc. Um, Madame Rack's Musician's House auction. So I was part of the excitement with all the auctions that um, Alex Archbold had uh, up for all the goodies that he bought. He bought the contents of a house of a woman who was a piano teacher. I don't want to give you too many spoilers because it's a great series to watch. I really encourage you to go to Curiosity Inc. and get hooked like so many of us have gotten hooked on the story. Um, and help uh, Alex and Melissa to build their dream of a cafe to sort of expand their general store that's an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm Joni and I'm in British Columbia, Canada, so the next province over. And I'm a reseller. I've been doing it since 2011, mostly focus on glass and china, but I have been branching out into all sorts of interesting vintage. Um, I definitely kind of go for the unusual different kind of stuff that's my real love love Scandinavian glass and and uh, Czech glass um, love 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 bone china you know so but I also am really really appreciating pottery um, oh tins I love old tins I love old tools all sorts of things so anything that could probably be used for decor or for serving food or, or drink it's probably going to be what I will look for so uh, I do live sales on YouTube every Tuesday from at 6 p.m pacific and a live sale some of you have been asking in the chat or in the comments about what a live sale is so I thought I could explain that a little bit um, because I am going to have some of the Curiosity Inc. things up for sale at my next live sale on Tuesday. Uh, so the way a live sale works is you come and you type into the chat when you see something you like. So, for example, I'll pick up a vase or something like this and I'll say, OK, so this is this is the Gonder vase. Um and it's you know made in the USA and I'll probably give the size of it and so on and then I'll say if you want this and I've got a card that says the, the number and the price and then you type it into the chat and if you're the first person to type it into the chat on my record on my side because sometimes it looks only you, you look like you're on the top all the time. But when I look at my list and if you refresh, you can see who was on top. And that person then would get the item, get to purchase the item. Um, the other way I do it is some items I will have what's called an offer up. So then I will say, okay, here it is. I start to describe it and I say, okay, the bidding starts at $10. So somebody can start us off at ten dollars so people put ten dollars and then make other offers and the best offer wins the item so probably a lot of the um curiosity ink things i will do as an offer up just because it's so hard to know how to price some of this stuff the providence you know does add money to the value of things so this is why it's really hard to price this sort of stuff i do have some things up in my etsy uh, store already too. I've got four listings of Curiosity Inc. Um, items up on my, my store. So I have that big boat vase from part one. I have the dishes from part one. And then yeah, last yesterday I just listed the uh, that really pretty vase um, that had the um, Silac, Silac, I hope, I hope that's right, vase that has i should be pulling up my notes when i say this because it's so easy to you know say the wrong name here so yeah so this the 679 silv oh silvac s-y-l-v-a-c silvac england vase with all the the black and pastels and then this the shorter and sons staffordshire leaf dish with the hand painted flower and so on that's the other thing that will be up on 
uh, are already up on my Etsy store. So first come, first serve on those ones. Um, I, sh I sell in US dollars on Etsy and the price includes shipping. So that's your all in price. There'll be no other charges than that. Um, so yeah, so, and there's lots of ways to pay on Etsy. They've got a good payment system. So, you know, you can do all sorts of different types of payment on there. Uh, the live sales, I invoice you through PayPal. And so you have to pre-register for the live sales. So if you want to be part of the uh, live sale coming up on Tuesday, please email me. And you can see my email is at the bottom of the screen there. And send me your YouTube name, your real name and mailing address, your PayPal email, and your phone number. Because I need that if, if you're in the States. If you're in Canada, I don't need your phone number. Um, and then what happens is after the sale, I send out my invoices the next day and I ship on the, the following Thursday if you've paid. So it's pretty fast and simple and uh, get your goodies to you real quick because I know you're waiting for them. So I, I work hard to, to get them to you quickly. Um, so I've got to... I wanted to show you some of the things that I, um, I got in part two that I've now cleaned up. I thought I'd show you those. And then I'm going to open this envelope of the jewelry, the rings that I bought at the second, no, third auction, not the first one. I didn't buy anything on the first auction. I, I bought two lots on the second auction and there's still another box to come from that. So hopefully that's going to come on Monday. I'm really hoping. And I'm kind of wondering if I might not get another box yet because I'm still missing some from the first lot. So, so there seems to be more coming. And um, yeah, so, and I just also, before I get going, I just want to thank some people because there have been some people that I've now gotten to know really quite well through this whole adventure with Curiosity Inc. And that's AJ Retro or Julie um, and also Melanie, Serendipity by Melanie. Um, they have been incredible supports to me and I hope I'm supporting them as well. We're kind of becoming great friends. And this is this is what's so wonderful about this whole thing is we're meeting other people, we're expanding our circles virtually, but isn't that fun, right? And so I just really want to thank them. Please do check out their channels because they also have some great unboxing videos as well. Um, so I think you'll, you'll enjoy them as well. And I also want to do a little shout out to my friend Julie from Day Trip Vintage. While she didn't buy any of the auction lot items, she's just been, again, a, a huge cheerleader of this whole adventure. So thank you to, to Julie from Day Trip Vintage. And I really encourage you to have a look at her channel, too, because she's doing some interesting things as well. And Melanie's gearing up for her first live sale on Saturday, the March the 6th at 9 a.m. Pacific. She's going to be selling some of her, some of the Curiosity Inc. items, I believe. So that's another thing for you to look forward to and, and pay to, and participate in. So lots to, lots to keep the, the Madam Rack story going, which is great, I think. So what do I want to do first? I want to show you some of the great stuff that I got in the, Second unboxing, and then now that it's cleaned, and I and I find I know sort of what this is. So this I found out this pottery vase is um, by Gonder, G O N D E R. I found out, so that's cleaned up really nicely, and that will be part of my live sale on Tuesday. This little planter, I still haven't ID'd this little planter um, in part two, so I'm still looking for that. If anybody wants to help me ID that, I'd sure appreciate it. Um, so it just says USA. That's all it says on the bottom. So obviously it's a USA, but isn't it cute little planter? I think it'd be great for succulents, right? And then there's this planter. This came out of the part one that I'll have um, at the live sale on Tuesday as well. And this is the Buse, um, Buse Ware, so the Canadian pottery. But look at how similar they are in color. Like they really do look very similar in color, and yet one's USA and one's uh, Canadian potter. So that's kind of interesting. And then this came, I think, showed you in 
part uh, two and oh, look how clean it is, right? Way different than, <laughs> than what it was like on the first un or the second unboxing. This was that plate that was part of the pass through. So it's the Friendly Village Johnson Brothers. I will point out that there's a couple of bits of damage. So the, it's fine on this side, but there is a couple of chips, but they're not too bad. They're right here and here and all on the underside and you cannot see them from the front. So if you want a good souvenir of Madame Rack's house, this is a cool one because you can really clearly see it in the video. And that'll be at my live sale on Tuesday as well. And then um, there was this clear vase, the Libby clear vase, old Libby with the old Libby logo on it. So that'll be at the live sale. Um, and then this is another thing, right, that'll be at the live sale, this picture. And this is, uh-oh, Royal, mm -mm -mm. I just looked it up and I will have make sure I have it for the live sale. Uh, just hang on, just let me see if I can find it quickly here. It's not Royal Copley, it's, oh dear, I meant to have this ready. Uh-uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I hmm. Sorry, guys. I forgot. You know where the ID is? I know that there's a, a fellow that had helped me to ID this on the video that says um, a curious tale. That video in the comment section. It I, uh, there's a fellow who's identified this for me. Um, and so I will get that information and, and include it. So that's another video you can watch as well is where I interview Melanie after our rush from being at the auction and bidding on things and Melanie's great, great story. Uh, so that's another fun video. I've made a playlist so you can see all the videos together too. So this one has some chips on it too. So I would call this shabby chic, but it's still really neat. Look at the, look at the great um graphics on it and a bit of kind of gold paint but and it's kind of got a matte finish so it's quite different um it just says made in england and the number 91 made in england 91 i don't know if you'll be able to see that or not but yeah so i'll actually put it in the show notes too what the, the little description box below i'll put uh what the id is on that and then the two things i mentioned that i've put in the um in my etsy store is this incredible vase the Silvac vase that i was mentioning um so that's gonna that's up in my etsy store this i think this is actually one of my favorite pieces it's hard to part with because look at, look, doesn't this make you think of um, Art Nouveau? It kind of really makes me think of Art Nouveau. And even the it's not doing it justice. It's got this amazing kind of watercolory effect to it with the dark black and then the pastel colors. I just think it's stunning. And then this is another one that I guess is my second favorite. And that's this leaf dish because again it's just beautiful and it cleaned up nicely it's a bit more green than it's showing up on camera right now um it's kind of got this limey green and and then the creamy kind of color and this is the shorter in sun's uh plate it's got a lot of crazing but i love the crazing i think that makes it look interesting and you know shows the age of the piece it's kind of like wrinkles right it it kind of gives it character. So anyway, so this is up on Etsy as well. So that's all the goodies from the first and second unboxing and sort of where they've landed as far as how I'm going to sell them. Now, ba -ba 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 -da, drum roll, please. With the unboxing of this, uh, um, yeah, this one here. Wow. Uh, this is amazing. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so... So this envelope should have two lots that I bought at the jewelry auction. So it should have the um, the rings. There's two lots of rings. One lot that's seven rings and one lot that's ten rings. So let's see. 
if this is what's in here. So there's a little pull tab. So I'll pull this stuff. Oh boy. And I do have my scissors handy here too. I think I'm gonna need them because they taped right over the the um, whole thing. Oh, now the whole thing broke off. <laughs> This is the joys of unboxing live, right? Or, you know, okay. And just so you know, I spent uh, some good coin on this stuff because everything in this auction was going really, really high. Um, so I think oh, when you all is said and done, like here's my invoice here. So it was 386.40, including, and this is in Canadian dollars, um, including taxes and buyer's premium like the auction amount and then um it was also another i want to say 22 23 dollars something like that to ship so you know i'm into this over 400 bucks you know canadian so you know we'll see we'll see if i you know at least can make my money back that's what i'm hoping because <laughs> it's just all part of the adventure right I mean, it'd be great to make a profit, but I don't know if I will be on any of this stuff. Okay, so there's the first one. So this one is the lot 2026. Yeah, and there's, so there's two little baggies. So, ooh, and I got my ring, my, you know, what do you call it? The, um, you know, this thing to measure the size of the ring too. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Okay, so the first one, I should have grabbed my jeweler's loop too. It's pretty, pretty. I could grab it if I need to. So this is the first one. It's like a stone, a stone that's been mounted on a ring that's an adjustable ring back. And I don't know what kind of stone it is. I'll have to maybe try to do some research. Anybody out there that has knowledge of stones, I'd love it if you helped me to ID this stone. Um, yeah, so that's the first ring. That's interesting. I don't know if it's silver on the back or if it's just a, a metal. Okay, so what's the next one here? So the next one is a copper ring. I'm just trying to see here. It's a copper ring and it's got some stones kind of embedded in the band is it missing stones again i'm gonna have to get my loop out and have a look it might be missing a few stones on the either side here i can't tell um if it is i do have some stones that i could probably put in there too so we'll see here's the next one oh, this looks interesting so this one is gold in color and it's got, and it's got, um, and again, is it missing stones or is it just the way the, I can't tell here. I'm going to have to, again, look at my, with a loop and see whether it's missing stones or if that's just part of the, de de the decor or the, the way it is. Let's see, is it marked? Okay. I got to get my loop. Hang on. Let me pull out my trusty little loop with the light on it that helps me to want to see things let me just see if I can oh it's going to bother you I think to, to show you it on screen but I will try to see if I can figure out if it's marked at all hmm hmm it is marked. It's got something on it, but not easy to read. Let's see. Hmm. hmm. Well, I'm going to have to uh, to do this off camera, I guess, to see if it's gold or not. I hope so. That would be neat if it is. It kind of looks like it is. It doesn't look like... You know, maybe it's gold plated, but I'll have to find out. I have to do some testing on that. So that's the next one. What else have we got here? Oh, this one's neat. 
This one's neat. It looks like silver with a stone. Um, is it stone or glass? I'm guessing a stone. And then look, there's the band on it. It's definitely, you know, seen some, some wear. So there's kind of a pattern on that side and on this side. But that one should clean up really nicely. I bet you it will clean up really nicely. It's almost got that kind of um, opalescence to it. So I'm wondering, it could be um, Roman glass or something like that too. So I'm going to have to, you know, do some looking and see what I can figure out on that one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so what's next? Okay, this one, it needs to, looks like it needs to be cleaned or is it... Or is it just mar or is it parts of the rock? Hmm. Again, it's mounted on the back. Um, let me put it, show you this way. Oh, and I should be telling you sizes too, shouldn't I? Okay, let's, that's why I got this out so that I could tell you. Okay, so this is the first one. But mind you, this one is adjustable. So, I mean, it's coming up small at a, I'd say a five. Um, but it's adjustable so you know if you had a you know a smaller um finger okay this one's quite big this one is coming up at an 11. what a difference yeah this one's coming up at about 11. so you can see this is the one that had the sort of glassy stone okay so those are those two and then i this gold one looks quite large as well holy moly it is okay so it's really large it is coming up at about a, i'd say a ten and a half ten and three two thirds ish <laughs> okay um and then oh what happened hmm Oh dear, 